What's going on friends? My name is Jessica Cooper and welcome back to my channel. Today is Sunday, October 14th. It's like 80 degrees out, but I am wearing a turtleneck because I am from Michigan and it is fall there and I believe in fall, but I live in Florida, so. So I just wanted to pop on here real quick and just talk about something that is on my heart. And maybe you're new to my channel and you don't really maybe believe in God or you don't really know what you believe about your faith. Totally fine, welcome friend. But something that's just been very true to my life, especially recently, is just how big of a product of my environment I am. So last year around this time, I took Dave Ramsey's Financial Peace University. It's a super awesome class to help people find ways to get out of debt. And I remember there was this couple there and they were maybe like 30 years old or maybe just like not that much older than me but they were in a lot of debt before. And in the class, they have this section of time where they kind of separate the groups and you can kind of talk about things that you're going through and things that you're struggling with, like with your debt, or you can share your success story. And this one guy and his wife spoke up and they said, yeah, like we are almost completely out of debt. And they had so much debt. It made me feel a lot better about myself. But I remember us all kind of looking like, wow, like how the heck did you managed to get out of that. It was like something like crazy. And he said, because we eat, breathe, and sleep Dave Ramsey. We listen to Dave Ramsey in the car, we read his book, we follow the steps. And he said, and we've done all that so diligently and you know what, it worked. He's like, if you can follow these things, like we can guarantee you, it works. Because had they not stuck to their budget and maybe one weekend they were just like, you know what, we're just gonna go splurge and have an $80 dinner that's like not on our budget. Like that's a very easy thing to um, make the exception for and then make the exception for it again after that and again and again and again. And as weird as it sounds, I was only thinking about it recently because of where I am at currently with like my walk with the Lord. Like I thought about how that man said like, we had to listen to Dave Ramsey in the car, we had to do this. It was just our incoming information. So I don't know about you, but when I first wake up in the morning, it can be really easy for like the first thing that you do to just like check your phone, go on Instagram, and you just find yourself scrolling first thing in the morning and seeing either just all this stuff from the news, people's amazing lives. And so what could otherwise be a really peaceful morning? Like could all of a sudden turn into this like, wormhole of comparison and all of that, like right off the bat. Like you guys, I am such a product of my environment. That song that's like prone to wander, Lord I feel it, like prone to leave the God I love, like that is me. The second that I start entertaining other things, entertaining like, oh, like that girl is like way prettier than I am and I need to look like that. Like I'm gone, I'm going that way. And it happens so quickly. All it takes is that one quick decision of like, eh, I don't feel like having my quiet time this morning, but you know what, I'm just gonna sit here and scroll and compare myself on Instagram because uh, I want to. So it reminded me of that guy and how he had to constantly be putting like Dave Ramsey's information in his head in order to like remind him of like where he's going and like and to remind them of their mission. One thing I've been really trying to do is just be diligent about what I'm putting in my brain. So whenever I feel that little ping in my spirit of I don't feel like either like having my quiet time right now or I don't feel like doing these things, I actually use that as my uh, alert for I actually really need to do this thing right now. I'm not perfect at this, but like I've really been doing better at replacing like the things that I used to do with maybe a sermon. Literally I'll turn over and if I find myself even reaching for the Instagram button or for Facebook or whatever, I will put on something that immediately speaks like. So a sermon, worship music, whatever that may be. Because here's the really cool part about it. At first right now you might be hearing like, Ugh, that sounds like a lot of work. But the truth is I'm not trying to gain a, a place with the Lord by doing this. Like, no, like I'm actually just trying to rewire my thoughts. Because now that I have been replacing the scrolling and comparing on Instagram, the good stuff, the things that bring life are now the things that I've been craving. So yes, it does take work on our end to initially like choose the healthier option per se, but eventually you really do start seeing yourself like craving the good thing, craving the healthier option. And suddenly like the things that you were um, doing before don't seem all that exciting. And suddenly you realize like, wow, like that 
really wasn't very life-giving. I'm not saying we need to be legalistic about this. I definitely have my shows that I watch and I definitely have those things. It's more about like where my heart is at when I'm watching the show or when I'm listening to the music. If I'm coming home from work stressed out and my immediate thing is to go drown myself out in some Netflix, that's probably not the better decision. But it's a matter of like, what are you turning to first? What are you putting in your mind to start your day? Like I definitely do not have these strategies, whatever, nailed down. And I don't think I ever will completely, but I just thought I'd share that with you because I know other people are probably in the same boat. And it's always just nice to know that there's somebody else like going through that with you. So I am putting in the description just a few of the things that I've been listening to in the mornings, um, maybe parts in the Bible that I've been studying. And maybe I'll even create a playlist of just some worship music that I've been listening to in order to just really encourage myself and get myself in that frame of mind. I hope this is helpful for somebody out there today. I love you guys. I hope you have a very blessed week. My name is Jessica Cooper. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time. Okay, bye.